Boeing concern. These buildings are the Ottawa base for Ron Engineering, a Canadian firm that has played a part in conceiving and directing some of the most prestigious buildings in Canada's capital city in the past quarter century. The driving force behind this company is Mr. Zev Bered, founder and president. Mr. Bered graduated from McGill University's Distinguished School of Engineering in the 1950s and has since that time worked with his family and his associates to become an international master builder. We are about to examine some of his achievements on the occasion of the firm's 25th anniversary. Mr. Vered told us how it all started. Well, after, we finished my, after I finished my first small prefab building at Experimental Farm, I tackled a few projects up in Northern Ontario and James Bay in Hudson Bay, and later on I developed slowly, slowly, but surely. My first project uh, was in James Bay, in Fort George, James Bay, and then I kept on going further north to uh, Frobisher Bay, Goose Bay, and uh, all the other areas up north. To further establish himself as a general contractor, Mr. Barad surveyed, estimated, and tendered various projects in Canada's Northland, where few people were willing to undertake the risks. He built a school at Pond Inlet, a sewage treatment plant at Moosonee, then came another school in Labrador, on the edge of Goose Bay. There were homes to be constructed and a link with the rest of the world, an air terminal at Fort Chimo. Fort George had similar needs, another school, sewage treatment plant, and hostel. With the successful completion of such projects, Ron Engineering broadened its horizons with contracts further south. Schools were needed in the Caribbean, and an air terminal was as necessary in St. Lucia as it had been in Fort Chimo. The biggest thing is when you are in the construction business and development business, you have to be able to adapt yourself to the condition and the location where you are. As Ron Engineering's experience and expertise grew, more challenges were undertaken, such as one that involved water traffic, road traffic, and three levels of government. This Mid Falls project was a little bit more difficult than a normal project because we were, had to work for two different authorities. We had to reconstruct the bridges and build the lock. The bridges were under the authority of the provincial government and the lock was under the authority of the federal government. And uh, the sequence of the tender call was such that the tender call for the bridges were called while the lock was under construction. We also had to make sure that the traffic had to continue because it was the main road into Smith Falls. So uh, the problem was not only doing the construction but the logistic with respect to the movement of people into the town and the time factor that we had to do all these various parts of this project within a very short construction period. Ron's general contracting was not restricted to engineering projects. In March of 1976, the new census building planned for Ottawa's Tunney's Pasture became a task for Ron Engineering. The building, named for Jean Talon, an intendant of early French Canada and the original census taker, was completed by July 1978, three months ahead of schedule, and comprised 750,000 square feet of office complex, together with a high-profile cafeteria computer center plus storage areas. From the top of the Talon building, only a few degrees to the east along the National Capital Commission Parkway, lies an equally spacious living accommodation not only built but owned and managed by the Ron Group. This building gives its tenants a choice of residence from five different floor plans. And from what might have been left as a rather barren roof atop the parking garage, this garden was placed to refresh the tenants as they observed the flow of the nearby Ottawa River. Further into the center of Ottawa, lie three more residential developments of the Ron Group. Each is chosen not only for convenience, 
but with an eye to views of the Ottawa River, the Rideau River, or the distant Gatineau Hills. Each complex combines scenic location with quality design and workmanship. Near everything, yet set apart, combining the features of a comfortable home with security and convenience. Mr. Vered had anticipated some of the problems of management. His answers. The fact that we do the management of our projects after they are completed, we can incorporate the problems that the manager of the property has when the building is finished. By doing so, we know where to build the building more practical for the use of the tenants or the occupant, and also the maintenance and efficiency of the operation of the building. Ten driveway on the Rideau Canal is a coveted address in Canada's capital city, offering a prime location, quality construction, and tasteful appointments. All of Ron's residential projects are unique in character and do not lend themselves to standardization.